A wonderful day to another uh, English question and answer video. So, uh, yeah, just shoot me your questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I think I can't spell this name. It's, uh, you can see it down yeah. there. <laughs> Um, thanks for the informa informative video. Does the car have also podi bushings? If yes, which ones? What bushes would you recommend for 80% street and 20% track? Thank you. It's um, about the NC. The Italian. No, this one got standard bushings, but for that application I would definitely go for Super Pro. Okay. Uh, Wololu asks, Oh, says, I'm incredibly excited for this project. It definitely is an inspiration for ND owners that want to build a serious track machine. Especially great is that we have access to these parts locally in Europe through you guys. Thank you. So yeah, it's a actually it's the same for us. So it's, it's a really interesting project which uh, takes now a huge amount of time. But uh, I think at the end of the day it will be a really cool race car. Yeah. Uh, Robert Thomas asked to the uh, ND, v, uh, V6 ND, uh, why didn't you go with the newer LGX engine? <laughs> Actually, when we started the project, there was no LGX swap possible. Otherwise, we would go to LGX. Okay. Uh, Sonia Hardy says, uh, my dream ND just perfect. The, Thank uh, you. V6. Uh, I think also. Um, so I have to skip some German questions to get to the English ones. Uh, um, Ricardo Espiritu, Espiritu um, does the ITBs for the ND1 and 2 Miata will use direct injection or port injection and when will it be for sale? Greetings from Mexico. Um, actually now we are making a port injection, uh, this is for the race car, then we will see how the development goes and then we will make a setup for a direct injection. That's the idea behind it. Uh, um, to uh, the ND also, Tom uh, Kussman, um says, looks fantastic and can't wait to bring it in my ND to you guys, but I wonder if there's a solution for having a roll cage and keeping convertible. I would be happy to delete my rear window. Also, the mirrors look great, but the metal plate under. Um, yeah, actually, this is just for a race car, so the mirrors they will not come as a product for for customers. But uh, I think yeah, we can make a, a roll cage here in house, uh, which allows to have a conversion as a convertible and also uh, yeah a roll cage that we can manufacture that in-house and also to the race car boosted ND Miata says this should open possibilities for the ND platform lots of goodies in this car thank you for that um, <laughs> and it also to the race car, um, not sure if it would, would even make sense, but I'd love to see a bumper cut of some sort. Uh, it will get a bumper cut, that for sure. It will get a bumper cut in the rear end. Um, Andrew Panteliev um, says, a respectable project. Have you considered using carbon, carbon aramid fiber? Nowadays I see it's used in many projects. Also it's stiff enough to support a rear, a rear wing. I think he uh, is talking about the um, uh, the boot. Ah, okay, mm, we don't think about that. I think we keep this one now standard as metal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just want to get now the car in the next steps. So we just want to get further from this where we are now to yeah get it done. Actually, the transmission came in uh, last week, but that will you'll see in the one of the next workshop Wednesdays and we just talk about more about the project because there is now going on some some work. Yeah. And are you planning other aero modifications? Maybe something like Odula front downforce, panel garage, very front downforce, under panel, winglet splitter uh, or cooling air guides. Hope to see more mods available to us later. Good luck and thanks for sharing. Uh, yeah, we will do some, some work. Um, 
I do not know if we just use all the standard parts from Japan or we do manufacture them over here because it's always, uh, I know the guys in, in Japan, they are more easy on, on high price parts. In Europe, the, the pricing for the part has to be in a bit of a price range and then we just try to do our best. Yeah. Destry Howard uh, says, I can't wait to see you, uh, to watch you race. That's nice, yeah. I just, I, I also, yeah, we do our best that we just get into the, yeah, in, into that project. And in the German video, someone asks um, if we're participating in the RCN race in April. No. <laughs> yeah, for sure not. I think we will catch up something like June. That's the idea. Yeah. Um, Rob S50 says, nice project. In which racing class do you want to participate? Like SP SP3 or yes. SP4? No, it will be SP3. At the starting point, will SP3. And then we make a new engine, which will be a cool project. And uh, from this point out, then we will see which class we will go. <laughs> because I even do not know which class the engine is in. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> uh, Swift94 says, can't wait to see this starting at the 24-hour race. An ITB and the roads will definitely be the highlight. That's nice, yeah, hopefully, because it, I think there are not so many garage-built cars out there anymore, which is sadly. <laughs> Jan be like Oprah, you will become fiberglass, and you, and you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Tom Thompson um, asks, awesome project, can the hard race suspension parts be TUV certified? No. no, because these are making so much noises in a cold car, so we cannot certify them. Yeah. Um, there are so many... Uh, so many comments about the RX-8 project. <laughs> yeah, that would be a cool one. I probably heard of it. We just, we, with a friend of mine, we'll do a RX-8 rally project. So, but this is something you will have, we will see the next video. So we're just starting the video series now. Empty pocket racers um, to the uh, cold air setup for um, an A and a B. Um, this setup is going to provide the best uh, IAT for sure, but when I dyno tested a similar one, plenum with 100 millimeter hose, cut radiator, and even no filter, I got good power until 4000 RPM, but then the power dropped. To my understanding, it needs more air volume, so a much bigger airbox like the M3 one, which is massive. The noise with the airbox was also significantly less, making a very streetable setup for those that need to keep it quiet. The filter placement also, I think, will be an issue when driving fast with rain. Uh, what I ended up um, with in the, uh, in the end was a solution from the A86 and two cars, a 100 millimeter hose at the front feeding air a big sealed box inside the engine bay and I still use the Gen V dome filter over the ITBs. Works really well for me inside and outside the track. You can find my ITB dyno testing at my channel if interested. Oh, long question. Okay, um, uh, so yeah, it's like, <clears throat> I understand because I also watched some videos uh, of that guy, so it's really interesting at all. Um, we saw that we do get the best power with that sort of boxing, but we will do fine, we will do dyno testing with you together. So we will make dyno testing with the different trumpet lengths. We will do uh, dyno testing with the airbox on and off. Uh, also on build engines, we will get one build engine for um, Touristenfahrten at Nordschleife, and I think with then we can see how the power is going. Uh, our definitely goal is just to keep the intake air temperature always the same and as low as possible. I'm with you about the solution that rain could be a problem, but this is something we just say, okay, uh, we take care. We, we do not care that much. Yeah. It's, it's like it is. There, there, you will have to do you will will have to do decisions on the one and to the other side, but I would say it will work. Um, Flipflop asks, um, do you use a reroute kit on your cars or is, it, is your radiator efficient enough that you don't need a reroute? Very interesting project so far. Um, 
we say until a power level from 250 horsepower, a reroute is not necessary. Uh, at the 300 horsepower builds, we all the time run with reroutes because then we run a different head gasket. Um, and I would say the cross flows could even make it around the 300 horsepower. Um, Tom Thompson also um, says um, uh, asked questions about the regarding the filter position of the uh, with with rain. Uh, yeah. yeah, like it's it's a compromise, like always. And but this is in my eyes the best compromise which, which we can do. Um, Lauren Thomas um, about the 2.5 liter NC ITB. Um, this is awesome. More people need to jump on this type of 2.5 ITB build. The quoted 280 horsepower is that at the wheels? No, it's engine horsepower. And I would say an engine without a dry sump would do 260, and the dry sump gains is another 20 horsepower in this case. But now we do, did some porting to the hat because the engine was disassembled. Uh, we we uh, changed some in, on internals, we just changed some uh, stuff of the engine and now we do a completely uh, blueprinted hat, also the, the combustion chamber and are looking for 300 natural aspirated. Toby Harlow, Harlow asks, what is your favorite V6 swap for road use in an MK1 or 2 MX5 and why? I personally think the Rocketeer conversion looks the best but would like to know your overall opinion. Uh, in my case, definitely the Rocketeer 3 liter Jaguar engine is the best solution in my eyes, I think, at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, Velocity GT asks, will you guys do an ITB for the 1.5 and 2 liter ND? Thank no, you. no, just for the 2 liter. Are there any projects with no. 1.5? I no, don't think no, so. No, because in Germany it's so rare that car, so nobody really converts it. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Okay, thank you for more and more English questions. Um, we, it will be next week, I think on Tuesday or something when you come in. Uh, we will talk about next workshop Wednesday and then we will have, a, let's say, a plan when English and German videos are coming on. So people know which videos are getting on and you know when your language has been chosen. Uh, we will make all the lang the the at the moment we'll do the most videos in two languages, but then it's more easy. Probably it will be also also the, the the point that we say in one week we release both videos in the both in, in both languages. But we will see that we will discuss that next week. It's just something for you which is pretty interesting. Yeah, and I think we will um, experiment a bit with subtitled subtitles. Yes, um, I hope I get can get into it in about one or two weeks so to see where we go um yeah but at the moment it's really nice we see grow <coughs> the, the youtube channel is growing a bit yeah. and uh, we see people are watching our videos in english so it's really nice and yeah see you in the next videos bye guys